first week in Feb, we turn our attentions to the new project. We're going to turn this old shed into a new Desires for some chickens. A bit of fettling, a bit of special engineering, and in no time at all, it's starting to look ship shape. Could you just show us how the door fits, please, Jane? Thanks. The pen knife Jane got for her birthday sees some action. Harry wanders over for a scratch. Hey, Harry, what's black and white? And it's like a horse. A zebra. After cleaning out the old water container, I give her a check. Jane's birthday arrives and we head off to the market to choose some chickens. We settle on lot 20 for point of lay bullets. We take them down the field and introduce them to their new home. We leave them to settle in while we go and plant some snowdrops. Before heading home we decide to pop in and see the chickens and just sit for a while. Once we get home, Jane settles down to watch telly and does some knitting with her specially blended designer wool. Not sure what it's going to be, but whatever it is, it's all her own work. Another day dawns, and down the field it's foggy and cold. The old hens have laid in a nice little clutch of four eggs and the new hens seem to have settled in. Cold and frosty mornings seem to be the norm this week and the horses need some hay. Both the hen houses had frozen solid, so I gave them some fresh. Time to get started on a job I've been putting off for a while. I just need to get the lawnmower started, and my labour saving cunning plan can be put into action. Rather than have to barrel it round by hand, I can use the lawnmower to pull the trailer. Genius. So far, so good. However, best laid plans of mice and men. The 
pigs are pushed out of their pen and are wandering off, they are followed by softy. No matter, on with my genius plan. The first apparent flaw in my plan is that the trailer is too heavy to reverse backwards with a lawnmower, so it's got to be manhandled. The second flaw in my genius plan is that the tyres come off the wheel. And so as my genius plan collapses around me, I'm back to barring it round by hand. I'm not sure if the pigs have come to commiserate with me or to laugh at me. So, barrowing it round by hand seems to be the plan. I've got an awful lot of horse book to shift and Jane wants it done by the end of March, beginning of April. So once the frosts have all finished, she can get her dahlias in. Anticipating a barrel wobbling misadventure, I cleverly decide to put down some scaffolding planks. So here you see my specially designed land bridge. Six barrel falls, it's not gone very far. Pigs lose interest. Before it's time to put them away. Ruby, Mo, come on. Just as I finish pushing back the sludge so I can shut the gate, Chester decides to go in and have a snack on some pig food. The relentless task of filling up the horse with water because they keep kicking the bucket over continues. Just time to feed the sheep, then move the horse fence and then off to work as the first week in February comes to a close. <laughs>